Today I fucked up by questioning my GF's childhood memory. Today I fucked up by asking my girlfriend some questions about a story she told me. TW. Mentions of abuse, assault. My, 19M, girlfriend, 20F, and I were lying in bed this morning watching videos. We usually do when we first wake up. Sometimes time she'll pause the video and tell me a little anecdote about her that the video reminded her of. I don't mind it most of the time as I like hearing about her life and it's become pretty routine. A bit of context, my girlfriend has PTSD from long-term emotional abuse during her childhood and several accounts of assault. This morning we were watching videos and came across one about some guy that got kneed in the balls. She then tells me a story about how her dad once, when she was younger, pretended to choke her. She panicked and accidentally kneed him in the balls to get away. Which he responded with punching her more than once for it. This set off some alarms for me because her dad is known for having been sexually, emotionally abusive to her and her mom. I asked if she thought she could have gotten away without hitting him. She thought for a second, frowned and said no, she seemed a little surprised by her own answer. So I then asked her how she knew he was just playing around. She looked uncomfortable while she thought some more and finally said, because he was laughing, my heart dropped when I saw her face as she realized that that funny childhood memory was just more abuse that she remembered differently. She started crying. It was genuinely difficult not to cry with her. She doesn't usually cry in front of me and it was painful to see her like that. She told me about how after she had come out about having been assaulted to her family, which included some details, her father would intentionally do things that reminded her of the assault and said that he usually expressed amusement when she got upset. She said she realized that him pretending to choke her was probably him forcing her to remember again. After a few minutes she calmed down, cleaned herself up and then mentioned being hungry. She left the room to throw something in the oven and I followed her down a few minutes later. When I had gotten to the kitchen, her eyes were just kinda glazed over and she had little to no expression on her face and the motions she went through looked robotic. I had seen her like that several times in the past and just assumed she was tired. Now I think it might be a trauma response to overwhelming emotions. At the moment, she's just sitting in the kitchen waiting for her food to be done. There's a timer on her phone but other than that, she's just sitting and waiting. I asked if she was alright and she said, I will be, I'm just thinking. Should I sit with her? Should I leave her be? I wish I could help her better, I feel useless right now. I could have just let it be, she probably would have gone the rest of her life remembering differently but got curious and ruined her day. Too long did not read. I accidentally made my girlfriend realize that her funny anecdote about her father was just more abuse and now she's just kinda shut down. I could have just let it be. Edit. Thank you guys so much for all the advice and reassurance. I wish I could reply to everybody. Someone had suggested going for a walk and I know she likes swimming so I asked her to come swimming with me after finding her bathing suit. After a while she seemed like she was doing better so we talked about what sort of things she might need from me when she disassociates in the future. I'll definitely be doing more research on CPTSD and counseling. Again, thank you guys so much. You are right, it is a trauma response. It might not be safe to leave her alone like that depending on how much she is on autopilot. That is something to talk about, carefully. Been there and not as the support person. If she's on Reddit, she's welcome over at r, cptsd. It's more for those who have endured abuse, trauma, usually childhood, over a long period of time as opposed to a singular traumatic event, like a car crash, which tends to cause PTSD. The C stands for complex. Don't beat yourself up about this, I can hear that you didn't mean to trigger her and I'm sure she knows this too disassociated and went somewhere else. It's very common with PTSD. I find myself doing it more often than not. Sometimes I need to be snapped out of it and others I rather stay right there. Be sure to give her your love and support homie. These things take time. Make sure she knows she can talk to you if she needs to. Don't poke and prod. Just be there to listen if she needs you. Now I think it might be a trauma response to overwhelming emotions. Yup. Also, it is okay to cry with someone. Your feelings are valid too. There is something called secondary trauma, and that is just what it sounds like, really. Like secondhand smoke. You can say, I am sad about this with you. Sometimes we need to ride into battle beside our loved ones, and sometimes it is a feelings battle. Not against feelings but with them, incorporating realizations and growing up around our pasts. You're good people op. Thank you. T. 
Tifu by wearing only my underwear in front of my roommate's girlfriend. I have been living with my roommate Tor a few months. My roommate, 26M, is always in his underwear at home. It doesn't bother me, 30M, because I grew up with all brothers and played sports with guys that were not modest. I don't hang out in my underwear but my roommate does all the time. When I get home I usually put on some gym shorts or sweatpants. However, my room doesn't have a bathroom, so I have to walk through the living room to use the bathroom, brush my teeth, take a shower, etc. If I get up at night to use the bathroom or get out of the shower and I'm in my boxer briefs he will yell at me to put some pants on, meanwhile he is laying on the couch in his boxers. When I told him he is always in his underwear, he said boxers don't count as underwear. I usually sleep in my boxer briefs, but I've been putting shorts on anytime I need to go to the bathroom or get up at night to feed my cat etc. I don't think seeing someone for 50 seconds in their underwear will scar him for life. This morning he got really pissed at me though. He usually sleeps in on the weekends and I got up to get a cup of coffee. I was in my boxer briefs. I didn't know he and his girlfriend fell asleep on the couch. His girlfriend went to take a shower and he immediately started lecturing me. He told me he hates when I walk around in my underwear, but especially when his girlfriend is there. Meanwhile he is in his boxers while lecturing me. I again pointed out he was in his underwear and he said boxers don't count as underwear and it's his girlfriend that is there and I should make sure to wear pants. TL, doctor my roommate got mad at me for wearing only my briefs in front of his girlfriend. It's her spending the night at your apartment with your roommate. Not you visiting their place. Boxers equals underwear by definition of underwear. Anyone wearing something under their boxers is deranged. Your roommate is a hypocritical dick and you totally didn't foo here. Edit. Autocomplete typo correction. If he doesn't want you walking around in your underwear, I guess it's time to lose the underwear entirely. If you pay equal rent and your name is on the lease tell him to go fuck himself. Sounds like you're packing some heat and he's jealous and insecure his girl is gonna see it lmao. This isn't about walking around in your underwear. Your roommate is super insecure his girlfriend will leave him. He's being a hypocrite. Today I fucked up by visiting my girlfriend for a night. I went to visit my girlfriend last night because she had a free house, and I hadn't seen her in a week. She lives a couple hours from me so I wanted this visit to go very well because I was leaving the next night. Everything was great and we woke up the next morning to go to a local coffee shop. We decided to split a large coffee and a smoothie and I also got a sandwich. I'm lactose intolerant so I normally get almond milk instead of whole when ordering coffee. My girlfriend ordered the coffee so she forgot to ask for almond milk. We sit down and I take a few sips and realize it was whole milk. This coffee was really fucking good though and I figured I could deal with some stomach cramps so I finished it with her. Then the regret hit me. I thought I was going to shit myself then and there and I told my girlfriend we have to go now. She immediately knew what was up and I practically sprinted to the car. I told her she needed to whip it home before I mess up my favorite shorts. She was going about 60 in a 35 until we heard sirens behind us. I could not believe that this was really happening. I was moments away from shitting myself, but we had to pull over. The officer comes over and gives his whole speech about do you know why I pulled you over. He told us that he got us going 24 miles per hour over the speed limit. My girlfriend was getting very nervous because she has never been pulled over before. She then tries to tell him why we were speeding. During this entire encounter, I was clenching my ass cheeks and praying nothing was going to slip out. He takes the license and registration back to his car, and I knew that I was fucked. I only had seconds before I couldn't hold it anymore. I thought about just sprinting to the woods on the side of the road, but I knew if I moved it was over. I debated it for a few seconds and right as I moved to open the door, the floodgates opened. There was a solid five seconds of the wettest shart that has ever occurred in this universe. My girlfriend looks at me with terror, and at that instant the stench hit us. This is also probably a good time to tell you that she was driving her mom's Mercedes. I knew it leaked through my shorts and I didn't want to move at all to see the damage. At this point, the officer starts walking back to the car and almost instantly I could see on his face that he knew what happened. He proceeds to let us have with a warning and says get home quickly but safely. The worst part is that the light closest to her house was stuck on red for what felt like 10 minutes. We pulled into the garage and I told her to run upstairs and get wipes and paper towels. She came back with everything and I proceeded to clean the shit off of me and the car. 
I found Febreze and held it down for a solid 10 seconds then closed the doors. I went upstairs and took a long shower all while my girlfriend couldn't even look me in my eyes. Finally after my shower, I walked into her room and we both start dying laughing. She said at least we didn't get a ticket. Thank God she is amazing and could see the funny side in this. Unfortunately I know that this won't be kept a secret forever and I will be dreading the day that her parents find out. And hash x200b. Too long did not read. Dot. I went to visit my girlfriend and chat inside her mom's car while we were getting pulled over by a police officer. Today I fucked up for not using the coffee shop's toilet. As a person that has to use public restrooms every day cause of my job. Y'all crazy for rather risking shitting on yourself than just using the bathroom. I hate using public restrooms but it's better than shitting in a car that you don't even own. I'm guessing you also have a fear of public toilets? Next time just blow up the coffee shop bathroom I guess. You sprayed Febreze and then closed all the doors? I don't think it's going to be long before her mum finds out what's happened. SLPT. Caught speeding? Just say you have diarrhea. Today I fucked up by listening to the Minecraft soundtrack while being on a call. I work from home as a developer for the last six months. Today I had a voice call with a senior developer to tell him about the feature of the IDE software that is used to develop applications, of which he was not aware. I had plugged speakers to my home PC with Spotify looping Minecraft soundtrack, C418 subwoofer lullaby, when I jumped on the call with him on my work PC with the headset on. We chatted for a short time when he noticed that Minecraft music was playing through my mic. He asked, wait, is this Minecraft? Are you playing Minecraft right now? And, since we had a history of joking around, I said in the not convincing voice, no? He started to laugh, I started to laugh. We laughed very hard for six seconds or so when he hangs up on me. I tried my best to explain that I was listening to the Minecraft soundtrack, but he sent me this meme afterwards. Feels bad man. Too long did not read. Senior developer thought I was playing Minecraft and sent me a meme of unfair salary. Your coworker definitely is on our programmer humor. That meme was posted some days ago IIRC. Sounds like management fucked up not giving him a raise. Too late now but you should have sent him your Spotify playlist. Sounds like he's cool. I wouldn't worry too hard about this at all lol. I don't play Minecraft but love the soundtrack. Dot but yes best to press pause when you are on a call. Not on topic, but incredible soundtrack. One of the best ambient albums in my opinion.